What's going on guys? My name is Russell Mania. Welcome back to another SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom rehydrated video. Uh, before we get into this, I just want to say yes, a lot of you here. I am having a little bit of strep throat and a flu. Uh, but of course the show must go on, so I'm gonna go ahead and not cover too much of these. I just wanna uh roll right through this that way I can get top of the throat pressed. But today we're going to be looking at 10 troll spatulas or 10 of the most annoying golden spatulas in the game. What do I mean by annoying? Not necessarily hard because there's been some really easy ones on these. But some are time consuming and after a while it just feels more like a nuisance when you play these sometimes over and over again. And that's where I also let's just mention that there's no particular book. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And because there's no particular order, we're going to take off. It's going to go ahead and knock out first two hardest ones. First up, the Rolling Ballroom Challenge and the Mermelarity. But if you're fans of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, forgive me because there are a lot of their missions are on this list. Starting with the Rolling Ballroom Challenge, and I did cover this in my hardest videos, uh, actually hit number one. This one, uh, it's all about being perfect on your timing and your landing. Now the first part of the course yeah, you get to that a couple after a couple times. However, when you get towards the end on the platforming and the sand part, that's where things get um, extremely hard. And you're gonna fill this multiple times, even to this day on the original and rehydrated. It can take me anywhere from eight minutes to eight days to beat this mission. So yeah, rolling ball room challenge. All right, and the second hardest one I covered in my hardest video also is beating Romanian's best time in the kelp forest. Uh, now, don't get me wrong, the time is fair, it's not easy, but the slide is very skinny, and of course you gotta use Spongebob for this mission, and Spongebob doesn't really have the best balancing on the smaller slides. There's also gonna be a lot of multiple gaps, and jumps, and twists and turns, so that's what makes it the hardest one. Alright, finally coming up with something new. We're sticking with the Kelp Force, we're sticking with Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy missions. It's Power Crystals, Crisis, slash Kelp K Force. Why did I tie this for number three? Well, it's because it's the same, basically the same mission. You get the Power Crystals to get out the Kelp Force. Oh, no, 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 question. You need to get the Power Crystals to, with Barnacle Boy, plus the stuff you take to get out the Kelp Force. You're literally going to be fighting with Power Crystals in the way. Um, and what makes this... Annoying is it just takes a lot of time switching between Spongebob and Patrick. There aren't a lot of robots in the cave, thankfully. But even the developers of the game knew it was going to be unnecessarily long. That's why they slowed the music down. Uh, you got, with Patrick, you got to be precision throwing. And, and with Spongebob, you got the cruise bubble, which isn't the best uh, with controlling either. And on top of that, you're literally just giving him the uh, crystals so Mermaid Man can trim his hair, his nose hairs at like speed. So what happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. So that's why I put Power Crystals slash Calcate Force on this list. All right, coming in at number four, I did touch base on this in my hardest vid uh, hardest one special video, as an honorable mention. Uh, but it's music in the ear to beholder in Spongebob's dreams, more specifically Sandy dreams. So, the platforming, the platforms you gotta jump on are very, very small, and the further you go into on the sheet of paper, the notes, uh, the sour notes especially, will fall. And then the notes will start moving. Good thing about this is, it, it's not too tricky, and there's no robots on the stage, so... I can get behind that one, but although when I was younger, playing this one was a chore, even sometimes today is a chore, especially if you suck in this mission. But, uh, because of the big precision platforming, and if you're not quick on your time, you can jump, some of them will just fall. So yeah, music of the air beholder. Coming in at number 5, the most anticlimactic spatula in the game is, here you go, Spongebob strings, most specifically, Patrick strings. Now, there is a theory behind Patrick's stream in the game. I won't cover it because I really don't want to get age-restricted or even community guideline strikes. 
with it. If you want to see it, then go ahead and look up Patrick's Dream Theory. Uh, or the Iceberg over Battlefield you're not Rehydrated. But this is the most difficult cool now. He's funny. He matches Patrick. He basically just gives you the bonus match. So on to the next one. Number six, definitely the most hardest, uh, most annoying one in the game, is grinding for shiny objects. Mr. Krabs, what number? All of them. What makes this annoying? You gotta get a certain amount of shiny objects to get a golden spatula. And every time you get one, Mr. Krabs increases the price. Thankfully, it's not as bad as day one patch, like 12,000 shiny objects. But we also have to be more specific that the shiny objects are going to be more useful to clearing paths and getting other items such as socks in the game later on. So if you're going to want to do this, you're going to want to get it done early, especially before you get to the SpongeBob dream, because you can only get to each dream bubble by paying the clown. And it, even with the price going up, this is what makes it super annoying. It's very time consuming. And I've even heard people saying this is the last bachelor that you usually get before they do the 100%. Coming in at the next spot, number 7. Uh, not too, too annoying as the last one, but it's Patrick's Lost Socks. All of them. Now the location vary for these socks. Some of them are in the really most obvious places. Such as when you first talk to Patrick. Some of them are in funny places, like you have to destroy all those good stuff, destroy Patrick's couch. But at the same time, some of them are in like really, really the most ridiculous places in the entire game. And the time is the right time consuming. Not as bad as Mr. Krabs' golden spatula, but it's pretty much good news. Alright, coming in at number 8 is the small shadow rule or not in Chum Bucket Lab. This is uh, the post to be the 100th golden spatula. So basically, after beating SpongeBot, you fly into his head and you have to destroy his brain. But to get there, you have to go through a series of robot waves and hit pl robot plankton a numerous amount of times. Now, what makes this annoying? There are no extra lives, no checkpoints, especially in the original. So you're really going to be struggling with this and. You have to constantly dodge lasers on platforms, and the further you go, the platforms get smaller, so there's almost no room for air. But yeah, small shot rule or not, just because how the platforms shrink, and the lack of resources you have. Coming in at number 9 is the Connect the Towers mission in Gulagoon. So what makes this hard is that there's going to be a lot of false buttons that won't connect to the right tower. Sometimes if you hit the wrong button, um, it's going to connect, it's, the lasers are going to shoot out the water or the mountain instead. And yeah, it, it is a puzzle uh, mission, but at the same time, why is it that a uh, light's going to destroy the robot? Why doesn't someone just take a boat and fire a cannon at the robot? You can we also mention how much of a dick Larry is in this mission too? So I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. Yeah. Connect the towers. And finally is Across the Trenches of Men's Darkness. Now, um, theoretically this isn't hard, but what makes this hard is when you get to the very end of the Trenches of Men's Darkness, when you get by that golden spatula, you have a ton of sleepy time bots, and you constantly have to switch between SpongeBob and Sandy, and Sleep time and sensitivity, even in rehydrated, is pretty high. Because even jumping will wake them up and it will hurt you. You're going to be constantly like, over by a cliff, too. So you're going to be pretty much uh, falling a lot. So that's what makes this one hard. But yeah, that was my top 10 annoying going spatulas. Uh, if I need to do a remaster version of this, I definitely will. But guys, this was it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be going ahead and working on another one. This time we're going to be looking at every enemy. Bring towards the best. That will be coming out next week. Guys, I'm going to do my best. Get better so I can bring you more. Battle for the bottom rehydrated content. And until next time, love you. Bye.